the coin compartment is the most fundamental part of an E46. However, we're going to trade it for something slightly more practical, a USB hub. Imagine being able to charge your phone, tablet, or even your laptop directly from your car. Before we jump into the installation process, let's talk about the two options you have to choose from. The first option is dual USB, which provides two standard USB ports with Quick Charge 3.0. This is perfect for smaller devices that need a quick charge like smartphones. The second option has a USB-C power delivery port and a standard USB port with Quick Charge 3.0. With the addition of power delivery, you're able to charge devices that require more power. Once you select the hub of your choice, you're going to need electrical tape and a screwdriver. We highly recommend one with a magnetic tip. Links in the description to all the items. Let's begin by removing the center console tray from the car. With the coin tray removed, we can start disassembling it. Remove the spring, coin compartment, and guide bracket. Before we continue, one thing to look out for is this tab. Some console coin trays have it and others don't. If yours does come with this tab, you need to bend it back with a screwdriver to prevent the hub from binding. You'll need to reuse all the components except the coin compartment. We'll be replacing this with the hub faceplate and the cartridge. Now grab the faceplate and the guide bracket and attach them together. Make sure the cutout is on the right side and the cartridge rail is on the left side. Fold the faceplate vertically and install the guide back into the coin holder tray. With the faceplate installed, you can slide in the cartridge. The cartridge only goes in one way, with the logo face in the back and the harness on the right side. Slide in the cartridge enough to clear the cutout. You'll need to angle the faceplate to have enough space. With the cartridge installed, level the faceplate and place your finger near the base and apply some force, then slide the cartridge into place. And finally, put back the spring. With the hub installed, we're going to go back to the car for the wiring. Before you do anything, remember to disconnect the battery. With the car turned off and your parking brake on, shift your car to neutral. Pull on the boot to disconnect the shifter selector and unclip the boot from the trim. Next, unscrew the center console switch trim and unplug the switches. Pull on the storage compartment to remove it and unscrew the radio mounting bracket. Now grab the center console tray and start riding the harness to the left side of the center console. The harness needs to come out where the center console and the shifter meet. Pull the harness all the way to the left side through the small opening. With the console coin tray back in place, you'll need to disconnect the two wires connected to the cigarette lighter. Grab the harness, connect the black terminal to the brown cable, and wrap it in electrical tape. Repeat the same steps for the red cable. The last step is to pull everything back together and reconnect the battery. By replacing the coin compartment with two additional charging ports, you gain more functionality and also maintain a factory looking interior. Both hubs, they offer a rechargeable distance of 0.5 inches. This feature allows you to easily charge your devices while still having full functionality of your armrest. We recommend you only use angle cables to prevent premature wear. Angle cables will minimize the stress on the cable and the charging port. For those who prefer to avoid the hassle of cables altogether, check out our video on the wireless charger that might be the perfect solution for you. 